many steps um, are repeating themselves um, in every project you're doing, especially if you're doing electronic music. So Tom and I sat down and created a startup template that helps us do those steps a lot more quickly and focus on the creative part. And um, as we're doing mostly electronic music and using uh, four to the floor beats, we, um, we already placed some MIDI files into our startup template for the kick clap of hi-hats and some hi-hat elements. And um, we did, we mostly, we start by doing it into simpler devices. You can also use the drum rack, but we prefer the simpler device because mixing is sometimes a lot easier. And um, yeah, I've, I've just put a dummy kick in here, a dummy clap and a dummy off head just to show you what this is about and what I'm talking about. And I use those claps out of, um, and all the sounds out of our deep premium uh, sample pack. And um, yeah, it sounds, it sounds like this. So we just open Ableton and start up like this and then we can go ahead and change those sounds and focus on the bass or on the melody or whatever we are doing. I'm adding um, over here, I'm adding uh, simpler devices because um, mostly drumming is not done with four tracks and sometimes there are some reverse effects or white noise effects or some percussive elements and those um, default simpler devices already come handy and you can just drag in your sounds and um, mostly you will need some effects processing for example you need all you will always need an equalizer on any track and most of the time you will also have uh, to have some uh, compression and um, also um, a lot of tracks are automated in the process of producing and especially also volume automation and that's why we always use a utility because we like um, to uh, to put our place our automation in the gain section of the utility um, like this for example and then draw it in here and have this knob free just for mixing without messing around with the envelopes of the automation later so that comes in handy in the beginning all of them are si uh, uh, bypassed but then you can like activate them and start the same um, is true for MIDI channels we are already creating. Um, you can drag in your VST instruments over here and get going. And there are also a couple of audio channels already prepared, also with equalizers, compressors um, for sidechain. We are taking the sidechain uh, signal information here and you just activate it and pull down the threshold and get going. And also, mostly, um, in, in some way, we are recording something in a track, on any track. And even if, if it's just a simple snip or tsh or something. Okay, we already have um, a recording channel prepared in the nut nut so for external recording with a microphone. And we have a resampling channel prepared um, for internal uh, recording. For example, if we want to um, use the track we are already having um, and put in uh, add some delay and uh, reverb effects just to get into a break or something then you can simply record it over here and drag the result of the recording which will show here just drag it up one channel and you're already done so it's it's all about the workflow over here and um, we also prepared some um, um, some reverbs and uh, delays on, on return channels. You can add them in this section and uh, we have a long reverb, a short reverb, a reverb for drums and uh, three types of delays that are used often. And um, also we placed some of our favorite EQing settings. So we are using, on any track you will use some EQing and we um, like low cuts or high cuts or a special uh, EQing for plug sounds or DSing for vocals. Yeah, so, so those basic uh, EQing settings um, can be um, dragged onto all of the channels. We just placed them here to have them available easily. And just to show you what is exactly happening, 
um, I placed a massive over here. Um, I used a plug sound, um, KS80S. Um, it's out of the massive uh, presets we made the other day. Check the description for those if you are interested. And um, I'm going to. Sh I, ma I made a simple melody over here. Um, and I'm quickly showing you some of the settings. For example. Um, from the mixing part, the high cut. Low cut. Um, a very handy um, mixing tool is um, using the mid and side equalization of your um, EQ8. Especially if you have uh, several instruments and maybe also vocals playing mid frequencies and, and things start piling up in the middle frequencies, like in those over here, um, and everything seems to hang in the middle and it's getting muddy. So we thought about that and we thought that it could come in handy for some instruments to cut out the mid frequencies in the middle of your panorama and add a little bit of them on the side of your panorama. So we built this automation over here. You can um, like decide how much you want to cut out and add on the sides. And over here you can decide where you want to do it and what frequency range it should apply. And um, so that comes in handy when cleaning up your mix and we mostly do it on any track. So we decided to put it into our mixing essentials because we use it a lot. This one works like a notch filter. This does exactly the opposite of this. So it cuts from the side and adds in the middle. Um, also, there are some EQing options we are using frequently, like fat fattening the lower end and uh, giving a more drive to the bass sound, for example, or putting a dip into the bass sound. If we have a piano, strings, vocals, leads, we use those. And plugs, for example, as I'm having a plug over here, I can show that one. Well, basically it's not a plug, it's a lead, what we are playing here, but like this is what a plug would be EQ'd mostly. And over here you can see um, how much you want to apply your EQing to this um, sound. And um, yeah, so it makes it makes your workflow go a lot quicker actually. And the third, um, the third mixing tool we made um, has several uh, compressing uh, sections so acoustic classic a very hard brick wall compressor deesser for vocals and all of them are um, activated through this dry wet knob also there's a fattener and a mono stereo switch so if you want to get all of the sound a little more into mono mono or stereo you can use this one that one makes everything louder and fatter uh, we are getting with the saturator for example, on this sound we are going. So you no notice how it's getting from thin to fatter and yeah, enriching the sound. Bas especially if you're not using that many tracks that can apply, uh, come in very handy. Um, yeah, so this is how we uh, mostly like to start and already have something over there and can focus on our song creation and arrangement and um, yeah maybe you should think about doing your own template applying to your needs or you can also if you're interested in this one you can check the description and get it um, yeah i hope you enjoyed it have fun bye